Welcome back to my Let's Play for Infinite Space, and now it's time to depart this planet and make our way to the next one. Well, we have unlocked a mystery sector up here. We can't actually do anything with it just yet. On the grounds that, you know, we just we just wouldn't be fast enough to catch the ship we want to target. We're not quick enough just yet, so we're going to have to put that off for later. Funny, eh? What is? It's really powerful IP communication broadcasting throughout the Ropes sector. Huh? Here, it's quick if I just show you. Look at the monitor. Reading this, Yuri? If you're watching this broadcast, I demand that you return to Ropesk immediately. Hey! Who's the cue ball? That's Dammit Panflov, the feudal lord of Ropesk. You tell me this whole broadcast is just for you? Damn, he's really got nothing better to do with this time. <laughs> Yuri, because you chose to break the law, an important loved one of yours is now suffering the consequences. Loved one? <laughs> Kira? Kira? You know that girl? Yes, she's my... She's my... She's my little sister. What? You've got a sister? I thought you said you had no family. Can't believe this. They've got her and it's all my fault. <laughs> and so now you can see the situation. You see this broadcast, Yuri. I'm sure you'll understand what this what you have to do. I hate to see such a young man with such a promising future turn to anything as lawless and as desperate as a zero G dog. Obey the law. Return to Ropesk and devote yourself to the betterment of your planet, as is your duty. Or else your sister will die. Damn him. How dare you pretend to be a benevolent ruler when he's holding my sister hostage. So, uh, what are you gonna do? It's up to you, you know. I can take you back to Ropesk. No way. I'm not gonna give in to his dirty tactics. Isn't there some way I can fight him? <laughs> fight him, eh? Well, we won't get very far against his military might with just this one ship. I promise you that. And I don't fight a battle unless I know I can win it. Oh, Kira. What am I going to do? Well, as long as you understand what being for, there might just be a way. Really? You have to be prepared to do anything. Do you understand? Right. And by anything, she means we're going to have to saw off the epitaph. Which really sucks, because there's no reason for me to do it with, you know, the new game plus money I have. But if you were starting a new game, you know, it makes sense. Welcome, welcome. I'm the owner of this establishment. The name's Radmir. Loxon, please enjoy your time here. Um, get information, I guess. I heard somebody from Repest disobeyed the ban on space travel and... We're off to the Sea of Stars. I don't know who that person is, but I'll tell you one thing. They've sure got guts. Lots of them. So it's going to be hilarious when they get ripped out of their stomach. <laughs> Seriously? He really doesn't know when to show up, does he? Now what? Seriously? Not really. But... Laid on me, I guess. <laughs> you see, lately this tavern just hasn't been making the money it should. If things keep up this way, I'm surely going to lose the place. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure there's some other dive in town we can hit up. It's tragic, right? I've always done my best. I always put my customers first. And after all my hard work, this is my reward. I just wonder what the point of it all is. This tavern's my treasure. I'd rather throw myself off a cliff than lose it. Yeah, seriously, it's just a bar, you know? <laughs> a favor, huh? 
No way. <laughs> nope, not a single G. <laughs> I suppose you got a point there. Definitely. <laughs> That's cold. That's really, really cold. Well... Very fortunate is that. Just concentrate on the cooking. <laughs> well, I guess we can ask about a job, maybe. Looking for work, are you? Alright, in that case, I'd like you to take this cargo to Paquette. The job pays 300 G. Yep, yep, I'll take it. After all, I need, you know, every little bit of cash I can get my hands on, right? And even if I didn't need it, I'd still do it. I mean, it's not like it's a hard job or anything. I mean, seriously, we're just flying back to, um, this one place we just left. And stopping off at the tavern to deliver some goods. Huh. Yep, yep, 300G. Just take the cargo off my hands, man. Hmm. Yep, we can get another job where we just left, I think, though. Kinda sad we have to do all our work for one old man that's so desperate he's willing to ask us for money. Like, please, do this job for me. Eh, fight it out. I need more fame anyway. Don't know my weapons aren't in range yet. Just blow them up. Yeah, those symbols over um, the top screen, you know, above your um, ship indicate if your weapons are in range and how many of them. It's important to have some really long-range weapons later on. Now, let's see. I think we can get another job here. Yep, let's ask about another job. Oh, you don't have another job for me? Well, no. Yeah, yeah, I do. Chops are on the line, huh? Okay, I'll give you something like 100G. That way you know it's not obviously a bribe. <laughs> and by leave the rest to us, they mean they're gonna screw you. Like, seriously, they're just gonna screw you. Yeah. It's kind of a gamble, though. Sure you're up for it, kiddo? Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, here's what we do. There's a plant named Toro Pets in this sector. There's a little shipyard there. Well, you mean we buy a ship there? That's right. If we can get a hold of a destroyer-class ship, we just might be able to pull this one off, because the ships in this sector are just that bad. We don't even need a proper battleship for this, you know? Or even a carrier with its fighters, which admittedly are like some of the best ships out there, especially the ones that are super carriers, you know, so they double up as battleships. <laughs> yep, so it's time to get out of here. Now well, let's see, I can't get to the void gate just yet. And I don't think I'd be able to see anything there even if I went to it. I don't think there's any materials I can mine either. Unfortunately. Yep, we're here alright. But what do we do now? I still don't have them enough money to buy a ship. I don't worry your pretty little head about that, kiddo. Just leave it to Nia. <laughs> like I said, she's gonna sell the epitaph for 10,000 G. Yep. Where in the universe did you get all this money? Well, I kind of pawned something. Something of yours, actually. Yeah, that's right. I pawned the epitaph. Nani? You did what? How could you? My father left that to me when I when he died. Enough already. What's more important, something a dead guy gave you or your still alive sister? Well, my sister, of course. See, so first we go rescue s sister. Now we'll plenty of time to, after that to think about getting your precious epitaph back. I mean, we just have to get enough money for it, which admittedly is going to be a bit, but it shouldn't be too hard, right? 
Besides, you have to leave it here, even if you do have the money, because story reasons. Yep. Go down to the ground and buy a blueprint from the ship design company there. Might as well just buy all the blueprints. The blueprints are fairly cheap, to be honest. It's the components that are expensive. Like, really expensive. Now, let's see. Let's just get you and you, you know. Could've just hit the select all button and just been like, buy. And let's hit up the tavern. Like I said, I think there's a job around here somewhere. Yeah. Hmm, how do you take this Karuda baguette? I'll accept. Yeah, I got it. Simple job. Before we do that, we should probably, you know, tightly make our own ship, but screw that. I think we can do this delivery without doing that. After all, building a ship's kind of boring. And I'm still not sure what to call it. I'll come up with something. You have to pull it out of my butt. No, let's see. Still not within range to use my, um... Preferred weapon. I, I prefer the actual physical weapons over lasers. I don't like investing in, you know, more powerful laser equipment. I'm kind of lazy like that. No, let's see. Should just have to talk to the bartender to get rid of this again. Yeah, yeah, just give me my money. Of course, what's funny is that pays even less than the job I did earlier. Yeah, yeah, can you just be quiet? I don't care about the details on the Central Olgavia, because I know all about it. Okay, we gotta go through the LUT sector first, and that's gonna require us to get caught up in some pirate affairs, because, you know... That's just how it works around here. Everything has to involve pirates. Seriously. Pirates make the universe go round, I swear. Okay, let's go to the shipyard. Now let's see, we can build either this one or this one. This one's slightly better at anti-ship, but this one's a bit faster. You know, in terms of battle speed, and has higher mobility. But it's got weaker armor and is a bit less durable. So no matter what you do, you know, you're going to be in a bit of a bind here. You're going to have to figure out what to do with it. Honestly, I don't have much of a preference, but I guess we'll go with the slightly more durable, harder-hitting ship. They're both pieces of junk, so it doesn't really matter what you get. Um... But I want something different for a change. Um, I guess we'll go with the, um, f I don't know, foot and mouth? How about that? I don't think there's enough letters for that, though. Let's see, how far can I get? Oh, there is enough room. <laughs> Shows what I know. <laughs> Yep. That's a great name for a ship, right? Now to remodel it. Okay, weapons. Let's see. Max range. Fire 70 times 2. Arguably the single laser is better because it doesn't have to pierce the armor when it hits there, so... I'll go with that just because it's a bit harder hitting. And then we'll go with modules, because that's where the real fun's at. Of course, we only got the most basic modules right now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, not that. Okay, we'll add to our accuracy a little bit. That way we're getting some use out of it. There's no point overloading on crew cabins, because it's just going to hurt you in the end. Um, maybe not that spot. Of course, no matter what I do, I'm not going to feel a fit a ton of holes in here. Yep. 
Yeah, limited space, but we'll throw some in here anyway. Holds let you transport cargo that you can then sell to make a little money on the side. Honestly, I don't know if they're really worthwhile on this thing, because they're not going to help me out enough to probably justify the expense of spending 100G on them. So maybe we should just reset. And then just go with the most basic of builds. And we'll move that there, move that there, and just slap this on. And throw in a fire control room. And boom. That should basically cover it, because anything else is just, you know, pointless. If you have too much crew on here, it gets in the way. And we can't exactly get into close quarters combat just yet, so having a ton of extra people on hand just for that, op that option wouldn't help us. You can't engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat in boss battles anyway, so overstacking on crew usually isn't your best option. Um, like I said, with the holds, you know, you're spending 100G on a hold that's going to take a while to pay for itself because you can't travel very far just yet. And that's how you base your payments on um, the holds here, how far you traveled. So there's very little benefit to doing that just now. So we're going to go with this for our ship because I think this would be the best option. It's simple, but it gets the job done. And then we can just get out of here. <laughs> Quite a ship. Keep telling yourself that. Yep, I'm now a captain. I'm Captain Yuri. I'm sure there's something wrong about that. And considering everything that's happened... I'd be happy to offer my services as one of your crew members. Just assign me to a post. You're going to be on my crew? What, you don't want me? I just feel like you're being way too good to me. <laughs> don't worry about that. After all, you're my client till I get you to safely to Central Algavia. Anyway, what's important is that now we're ready to go up against Panflov. I am, aren't I? Yep, coming to get ya. Okay, let's edit the crew. Well, let's see. I guess we can assign you to Ace Helmsman. So let's see. We'll make you the chief navigator for now. Honestly, there's just not much else I can do with her. I mean, I can assign her to other posts, but what would be the point? Sorry, I'm um, wrong option. I wanted to edit my fleet. Okay, the foot and mouth did get assigned to the first spot. Okay. I wanted to make sure that happened, because if it hadn't, I was going to have to manually go in and do it. At least with um this ship, we should hopefully be able to catch up to that one ship back in the um first sector here. Oh, I could have made a direct trip there. Darn, I screwed around for no reason. Okay, I still need more fame. You need enough fame to recruit people on certain missions, so... Well, not missions, I'm certain recruitment places. So. Trying to recruit enough people to do that is important. Not recruit people enough, kill enough people to get enough fame to do it. Because you get fame after every battle. Which adds slowly up to your total. My current fame is kinda low at 58, though. <laughs> I need a lot more for the next place that does recruitment work. I'm like 200 something. Yep, we're gonna have to take this ship out. So it won't hurt anybody if we just help ourselves to it, will it? You mean steal the cargo? But that would make us pirates! That's right. So what's the harm in taking a little treasure from an evil feudal lord anyway? Well... Oh, come on, Yuri. Quit dragging your feet. Or it's not... Or it's gonna get away. Fine. My question is how you retrieve anything from this after you've blown it up. And damn, are we struggling to catch up to it. I assume it would be trying to dodge, so... It's trying to account for that. Please take it out. Thank you. <laughs> Look at all this great stuff! We'll just stand there like a dummy. Let's start hauling it back to the ship. 
Oh, right. I mean, what's left of it? Because we kind of blew it up. Oops. Well, I think I'll stop here and try and do a little um, fame farming for the next episode. Because it shouldn't take me too long to smash my way through um, Panflov. And then make my way through the um, Propest Security Force. I mean, they're just annoying blowhards for the most part. So annoying. I get tired of being constantly backstabbed in this game, because it happens way too much. Till next time, then. See ya.